Primates. I do not mess with primates. Once they kind of hit, yeah. what, the two, three year mark, what do they do? You see AQ sitting there, meat out right at the camera. They come for your meat and they <laughs> shove it in your mouth and they're gonna rip your face off too. So I will not mess with primates. Tomlin had to be feeling himself for the first time in 59 games. Pittsburgh Steelers go for 400 yards. That was the stat that was Matt Canada's entire tenure as the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive coordinator. Every other team had done it at least three to four times in the entire NFL, but not the Pittsburgh Steelers, not the jet sweep Matt Canada offense, not that we only throw the ball to the perimeter. We refuse to throw the ball over the middle Matt Canada offense. And in his first game, not there, they go for 400. To Add a little layer of this guy sucked. It couldn't have been better. Now, they score 16 points, one touchdown, three field goals. And a lot of people are going to chit chat about, yeah, you go for 400 yards. What does that mean if you can't score? Well, what it means is Kenny Pickett probably went to bed feeling a lot better about himself. George Pickens probably felt great. Deontay Johnson needs to hop on fumbles, even if he doesn't see them. But that whole offense just looked like they were having a much better time, had a lot more energy. Naj looked like Jerome Bettis. Now, the NFC, shot to the Eagles. They are awesome. Awesome. Hurts to the end zone, and the Eagles have won it in overtime. Can they continue to win ugly? Well, when they're beating the Chiefs, the Cowboys, what? the Bills, what? the Dolphins, what? when they're beating the best teams in the league and they're winning ugly, yeah, you can continue to win ugly in the fashion. But the Eagles get another big one yesterday. Sirianni does another interview where I slept on couch this week. I'm pretty happy to get this win. Yeah, you could say I'm pretty thrilled about it. Is the couch that I slept on this week comfortable? No. <laughs> But you know what? The memories will last of this week. And obviously the way Jalen Hurts handles himself, he's the calmest and coolest dude on the park, on the field, all the time. How can you not smile after that one? Because we just had to make it fun. I don't know how he did it. He's a 90-year-old man in the body of a power lifter, stud quarterback. Good for them. They're going to continue to do their thing. How are we doing? Better than Ohio State, State is. is. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta tip your cap. Jameis was doing a concert with Luda. Nobody told Jameis that he wasn't mic'd up, but he was performing, and he was performing to Derek Carr, who's in the middle of a pretty big NFC South matchup. And I don't know if Derek Carr was enjoying the scene as much as Jameis was, but... <laughs> Ludacris, absolute showman. Guy doesn't age either. The guy looks the same for the last 30 years. He looked like he was just sitting on a swing in a park, too, this guy. No fear at all. Luda said, are we doing a show or not? He said, move. Get out the way. Get out the way. And Jameis was like, I know this one. Jack Harley's wow. just walking around all playing. So yeah. We had no chance after that. I mean, come on. He came out of a snow globe. His buddy with him, too. I think it's his brother. I don't know. He had a sweet oh, blue hat on him. Hey, he said it's sweet. Is that yeah. junior high? Do you see what Dolly Parton was walking around yeah. on? I think there's a chance Jack Harlow lost and the Lions lost when the decision was made to put that shit on the field at halftime. Massive Paisona gets a big time dub. The whole family. I do appreciate that this is becoming Bombi DeVito's <laughs> signature celebration. I also like that people in the crowd, Italians and non Italians, are just throwing that thing at him. Tommy, Tommy. His dad smoking that fat stove oh. right in the camera. His whole family and friend group coming out like as if it was a Sunday gravy party at the house. You know that little country looks like a boot. Yeah, we got beautiful culture. We got beautiful food. And we got quarterback playing for the Giants just miles from where he grew up. The, the evolution of the games from my perspective. Rex Ryan! Hey, Tupac! Balls, balls! Brett obviously came up with a rhythmic cadence. Blue 58! Blue 58! Go! It has a snap point a little bit different than maybe we grew up where it was like down, set, hike, or go. This became a snap point at different times, whether it's second number or second color, and created this rhythmic type of cadence that you also were able to adjust to drop people off sides. Ends now for far. Then there was the fad with the Omaha stuff that I think Peyton was doing. The big Thomas which was really just a way to do all his crazy stuff he was doing at the line of scrimmage. People were like, what does Omaha mean? Omaha meant, hey, mother, we got two seconds on the play clock, and I need this shit snapped quickly. I'm just going to say Omaha. Uh, it was a rhythmic thing to get us in and out of a cadence late on the play clock so he could do everything else at the line of scrimmage, his real calls, his dummy calls, his adjustments. We obviously used the cadence for years in Green Bay as a weapon. Saw it, that's what Sterritor saw, it, so it's a first down. And I always said, it doesn't even matter if we draw them off sides because if they're thinking about it and they're watching the TV copy and they're studying it, they're going to be a little bit slower off because they just don't want to jump off sides. First, I want to talk about Dak because he's 
become one of my favorite quarterbacks to watch. Brady had some comments about some of the mediocrity in the game. I just want to say Dak is not who he was talking about. I just love that he's really playing the position. What I mean by that is I'm watching him make Ringo calls. So that's protection adjustments against these crazy looks and picking things up. I'm watching him bring the tight end back in against the zero pressure and throw an old concept we used to run for a touchdown to CeeDee Lamb in the back end zone. I'm watching him use his cadence beautifully and get into this rhythmic here we go right now. into using it as a dummy sometimes, doing it twice, into other cadences. I just want to say he's playing a position in a really impressive way. He might take a little more shit than he deserves. I just want to shout out Dak for really impressing me. Adam, multiple, baby, Dak, multiple. there's still people that don't think you tore your Achilles. Will we ever get a photo of the Achilles being just ripped? Listen, we're on YouTube now, so let me just say it to anybody out there that didn't think I tore my Achilles. GFY. Oh. Like that. Oh. What does that mean? First word is go, and the last word is yourself. The middle is probably what you're not doing living in your parents' basement. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That was what happened with COVID. All right. Well, GFY to all of them. Just keep your stupid, ill-informed opinions out of our universe. Just do your own research. Oh, no. Nice. Right. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers. Appreciate yeah. everybody. Fauci yeah. was like, get him off. Dak Prescott spent his Thanksgiving alongside of us yelling, here we go, into all of our living rooms. Right now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got yeah. a dominant one. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. I was watching the synchronization of the plays. He started with here we go, set hot. And he did that three, four, five times. And then came back, and it was a no play. And he go, here we go, set hot. And they jumped, and they got a freebie. I love the sequence in it. And that's the beauty of a guy really playing a position. Why are other people's cadences different? Russell Wilson, for instance, he actually said, out of a movie. I'm laughing at Russ. I'm looking at the score in that, it looked like it was 24-12 or 27-12 at that point. I don't know if he's messing around because sometimes in practice, I'll do stuff like that where I'll change the cadence and just say hut one, hut two. The fact that they snapped that on hut three is pretty amazing. I assume your man, if you got in there, would be able to befriend one of these orangutans by shaking their hands and alphaing them? Absolutely not. You have heard me mention on this program multiple times, I do not mess with primates. Once they kind of hit, <laughs> yeah. what, the two, three-year mark, what do they do? You see AQ sitting there, meet out right at the camera. They come for your meat and they shove it in your mouth and they're going to rip your face off too. So I will not mess with primates, especially what? once they have hit puberty. What? All right. We'll keep that in mind. Once they hit puberty, it's just a matter of time before they rip your meat off and you know that. No. That, I do not know that. Because <laughs> yes, I you do. That's how it goes. What, what made you go down a road where your Google search led you to a primate's going to rip your meat off and put it in his mouth? I found this out years ago. The, the put it in your mouth part. I kind of came up with that one because they said, why would they rip it off and put it in your mouth? I said, because that's the most disrespectful they can kill you and they want your parents or your loved ones to find you dead with your meat in your mouth. I added that part on. But okay. Listen, okay. You came up with this. No, no, no. Listen, ripping the meat off is a real thing. I don't know where they place it once they rip it off. You get a chance to chat with Feinbaum today. Huh? That's a dream come true. I'll tell you what, you know you've made it when you get a request to double team McAfee and Feinbaum in the same day. Whoa, um, whoa. That's when you know That's when you know and you're where you want to be as a coach. Hey, listen, <laughs> that's a tag team that I think the world <laughs> doesn't need a lot of, but you are going to crush it, obviously on that show as you did this one. It's been awesome to have you sitting over there, D-Bud, to be honest with you. I've enjoyed it a lot. The best part about here is I don't have to worry about my penis being exposed when I sit there and shot. Good Lord, Darius. <laughs> it is Excuse Wednesday. Me? Why are you sitting like that? <laughs> what is your problem? I don't see it. <laughs> I mean, you know. Why? It's a little different with Darius. Well, yeah, why you. is that? You know why? Yeah, I do. We I all do. know why. We got some breaking news on Aaron Rodgers. The New York Jets have opened the practice window for oh. quarterback Aaron Rodgers' return. Now, that's a 21-day window, I do believe. We've seen it around the NFL already this year. So they have 21 days to activate them. And if they do not activate them onto the roster, then they go on the IR for the rest of the year. Basically saying the next three weeks, we'll make a decision on what Aaron's going to be or what he's not going to be. If the Jets are still in it and he's healthy enough to come back and he was to play football again this year, it'd be a story that people would talk about forever. Oh, okay. going up on a one foot with a little two-step there, a little explosion there. Is this guy about to do it? Aaron said yesterday that he hopes that what he's doing will give people more confidence to try the surgery that he did in the rehab that he did. Now, when we start talking about science on this show, people love it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Modern Medicine. <laughs> Okay, I'm Pat McAfee. I'll be your host today. <laughs> I believe this particular surgery has been around, but I assume that there's been a lot of people that haven't trusted it. Nah, there's no reason to rush an Achilles.
Achilles. This is a devastating injury. Don't do this. From the way it sounded with Aaron yesterday, he's hoping that others will see what he's been able to accomplish in 11 weeks with this Elitrosh surgery that I think is a very aggressive type surgery to get back to heal the Achilles in the rehab and recovery of it all. I think he is trying to prove that, yeah, it might have been a little risky, but also this doesn't need to be 11 months. It could be 11 weeks, which is absolutely bananas. And that would change sports medicine going forward. Bobby Petrano is back at Arkansas. We know Bob from Louisville yeah. Yeah. and the Atlanta Falcons. That went really well. And he went over to Arkansas and mm -hmm. that... That ended in crash and burn. On face. Yep. Neck. Yeah. Right. Motorcycle. You bet. Public. Yeah. Situation. Right. Loaded right. good guy. V yep. <laughs> I think. I don't know. There he is. <laughs> that may have been a bit facetious, but... Now here we are, 2023. He's going back to be offense coordinator. And this was Petrino's messaging. Rest in peace, Ryan Mallett. It's you and me, 15. Proud to be coming home. Now let's bring the Hogs a championship. Hashtag... We're saying Jalen Hurts is sex symbol. And I did not know that until a video of him at the Sixers game hit the internet where it was seen by a lot of people. Yeah. And the women that were quote tweeting the tweet were like, they were thirsty. Oh, yeah. There were some <laughs> thirsty tweets going out about Jalen Hurts. And as I'm reading them, I'm like, good for you, Jalen. And then there were some other quote tweets from dudes. A lot of hating assholes. I did not know that was the case just because he's too perfect is what people were saying. AJ, do you ever play special right, teams? I did. And sorry, if I, I my screen has been blank for the last 10 minutes. I can hear you guys great. I just can't see any of the show. So I have no idea exactly what's going on but i can hear you but yes i was a four-year starter at left wing and punt in college and i played a lot of punt when i was in the league as well there are a few times when i think devin hester took a few back on us no question Glad you. too good those special teamers yeah. real dogs out there but i have one question why are we beating up on aj so bad <sighs> Listen, AJ said some things yesterday. Just a, just a primate yeah, thing, he coach. said some things if, yesterday, coach. They come for your meat and they <laughs> shove it in your mouth and they're going to rip your face off too. So I will not mess with primates. They can't handle the truth, coach. I mean, he seems like one of the, no disrespect to anybody else, but one of the nicest guys on this oh. program. Coach. Oh, yeah, thank you, fool. Coach. coach. You've been fool. Coach. <laughs> you can be nice and still talk about primates at the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything else you talk about. <laughs> coach, we'll get a chance to hang out in real life one time and you'll get a chance to feel the toxicity actually flowing out of that one over there. He exudes being a sack of shit. We know that right. from being around him a lot. To the outside world, yeah, he's a nice boy. They're saying you guys win. Maybe no SEC representation in the college football playoff. What are your opinions on that even being a real thing that's happening right now? First of all, I haven't paid a lot of attention to it because we don't really control that. We have no control over that. We have control over how we play, how we execute, how we prepare our team, and that's where our focus is. I think there should be some representation from the SEC regardless of who wins the the game absolutely i think this is one of the best leagues in the country and if you're a one loss team and you play through this league i think you're one of the best four teams in the country i love that and i can't wait to talk to you next week depending upon what happens here guy down in utah state levi williams not going to the transfer nope. portal to go anywhere else after leading his team to a big time win over new mexico he's going to the navy seals this guy oh. is our hero he said i'm foregoing my final year i'm gonna go train to be a navy seal because i love this country and i want this country to always be great hey Levi, we salute you, pal. Yep. If he had the chance to go make one, one and a half, two million dollars yep. in the transfer portal, I would be singing a different tune. But the fact that he's like, nah, I need to go right now. Levi, we love you, pal. There's a drone flying around behind you. I don't uh -oh. want you to get hit. Grab can that hear thing. It. Like can uh, hear Sabrina it. did. Grab that sucker right out of the air. Th hey, throw one of them pig skins at it. For real, that would be so Th sweet. Throw that Georgia pig skin at it. Look at, you, look at him creeping up on it. Oh, my. If you get this thing. I'll pay to replace it if you just smash that thing right in their face. <laughs> what do you think everyone else in that stadium is thinking when they see this guy just <laughs> creeping around? I mean, camera guys. Like a predator. Man. Does the drone Looks game. like the drone pilot's paying next to no. Oh, never mind. Okay, here we Come go. Come on oh, over, drone pilot. Oh, <laughs> Zoom out. We can't see. Uh-oh. See if he wants to. Oh, he there it is. Oh, he's, thinking, oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, he's he's oh, about it. Kick, oh. Him. kick him. Kick him. Oh, you have Get to him kick him. Get him kickers. Kick him. Yeah, kick him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. It's a good pilot. Hey, he'll come back. He's coming back. You got to yeah. kick the hell out of that. Smash him right in the ground. Teach him a lesson. Son of a bitch. Throw the mic back. <laughs> sounds like he's close to your mic. Is he coming over here to take your desk out? Whoever this drone pilot is, I give this guy some Talented, credit. He, yeah. he has his eye on Talented. the ball, man. Is Zeke in Atlanta right now? <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. That fucker's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs>